Hello everyone. In this video session, I am going to practically demonstrate a Java programming logic to compare two arrays without using any inbuilt methods. Let's say there are two arrays. One is integer array A. It has some values. Let's say it has some values like uh, 1, comma, 2, comma, 3, comma, 4, comma, 5. And there is one more array, integer array B, which is also having the same values 1, comma, 2, comma, 3, comma, 4, comma, 5. Now, if we have to write a Java programming logic for comparing these two arrays, we should not be using any inbuilt methods, guys. Okay, we should not be comparing these two arrays by using some inbuilt methods. Rather, we should write some plain logic. So, what should we consider? The first thing we should consider while comparing these two arrays is we have to check whether the size of the A is equal to size of B. First rule is we need to check that both the arrays have the same size. If this particular array, if the first array A has five elements, the second array should also have the five elements. That is the first rule. If any of these arrays have the different sizes, then they are not equal guys. So while writing the Java code for comparing these two arrays, we have to check whether these two arrays have the same size. That's the first rule. Second rule is we need to check each and every element of the array. Each and every element of the array should match. Once the sizes are, once these two array sizes are equal, we need to check each and every elements in this both arrays are equal or not, okay? Should be equal. What does this mean? That means if in the first array, in the first position one is there, in the second array in the first position, one should be there. If any other number is there, that means this array is not equal to this number. If for example, here two is there, if it here five is there, then both arrays are not equal. That's what I meant to say. Now we need to write the programming logic to make sure these two rules are available, okay? Using these two rules, we'll compare the two arrays and then give the results. Let me start writing the logic. Integer array, A is equal to one comma, two comma, three comma, four comma, five. First, we'll go with the positive case where both arrays are equal. Thereafter, we can experiment with uh, by changing the elements and finding out whether this program is giving the proper results or not. That we'll do later. For now, we'll create two integer arrays having the same elements and also of same sizes, three comma, four comma, five. Fine, put a semicolon here. Now how to compare this? We'll put something like, uh, there's something like comparison status. Let's create some Boolean, Boolean comparison status. By default, we'll set this to true. That means both arrays are equal by default. After the logic also this comparison st status should be true then only they are equal otherwise they are not equal now let's start writing the logic for comparing these two arrays the first logic is to satisfy the first rule that is both the arrays should have the same size so how to do that we have to write like this if a dot size okay if a dot size sorry a dot length guys okay there is a length predefined variable in array which will give you the size of the array so a dot length is equal to b dot length then if condition so then arrays are equal at the high level arrays are equal first rule is satisfied for the arrays to be equal else else if these two sizes are not equal the sizes of these arrays are not equal then simply you can change this comparison status to false right if both the arrays are of not same size they are not equal so we have to change the comparison status uh, boolean thing to false now there is one more rule we need to apply right when both the sizes are equal we'll go inside the if block inside the if block we'll check whether each and every element in this array is matching with each and every element in the second array how to do that for that we'll create the for loop for int i is equal to zero i less than i less than a dot length semicolon i plus plus this is a for loop for iterating through the first Okay, first or second array. Both the arrays have the same size, right? So that's fine. Now here, I'll say if A of I not equal to B of I, 
Are you getting the point? If a of i is not equal to b of i, if a of i means at the index zero, okay, a of index zero is one, is not equal to b of i. B of zero is also one. So both are same. So this condition is false. It will not go inside the if condition. If in case both are not equal, if a of i is not equal to b of i, simply we have to set this comparison status to false case. Until they are same, no issues. If they are not equal, then we have to set the comparison status to false. At least one element is not same. Complete array is not equal, right? For example, the first element itself is not equal. Let's say here one is there, here four is there. So one is not equal to four. We'll directly go inside the if condition and then we'll make it a false. And then we have to break it. No need of checking for all the other elements, right? If one element is not matching, then complete array is not equal to the second array. So we can simply come out of the for loop if, we, if that kind of case arises. Fine. Now, this is the logic case. This is a simple logic which will check whether both the sizes of the arrays are equal at, at, and also it will check whether each and every element in the array is equal to the each and every element in the second array according to their positions. Now, after this, either comparison status will be true or false. If it is true, that means both the arrays are equal. By the end of this logic, if the comparison status is false, that means arrays are not equal. Let's do that. If comparison status, based on this comparison status, we'll print out the output. If the comparison status is true, we'll go inside the if block. Here we'll say system.out.println, both the arrays are equal. Else, we'll write, System.out.println, the given arrays are not equal. Are not equal. Done. Now let's run this code and see whether this uh, Java program is working perfectly or not. Run this. Both the arrays are equal because both have the same size. Both have the, at every position, both are equal. First position, both the elements are equal. Second position, both the elements are equal. What if I give something like this? Uh, here, somewhere here, I'll give uh, as zero, okay? The third position of the first array, three is there, but uh, the third position of the second array, zero is there. Are these arrays equal? No. This logic should find it out. Let's run this. You see, the given arrays are not equal. It's able to find. And also, let's change it to three again. Now, I'll experiment in the terms of the size of the array. Let's say the first uh, array has five elements, whereas the second array has six elements. Now run this. This time also we, sh we should get the output like the given arrays are not equal because size is not equal. Run this. The given arrays are not equal. Only when the both the sizes of the arrays are equal and only when each and every position element of the array is equal to the same position element of the other array, then only the arrays will be equal. Otherwise, they will not be equal. Now both are equal. Let's run this. Both the arrays are equal will, will be printed, is printed. So that's it guys. Uh, hope you understood how to write the Java program without using any inbuilt methods for comparing two arrays and finding out whether they are equal or not. So that's it guys. Thank you. Bye.